On a hot sunny day in July, mosaic artists Liz Nicholas and Carl Johnson set up their workshop on the sidewalk in front of the theater at RVCC. Over the next two weeks, they transformed a drab stucco wall into a colorful, playful swirl of shimmering glass, the first public artwork on the college campus. Commissioned by the RVCC Foundation, the mosaic evokes the excitement of the arts and, through the use of small ceramic objects, suggests the scope of cultural experiences offered by the theater. It's just a freeform design, but it includes elements that represent the arts, such as the music notes, which the ceramic students here at the college made for us. Creating the mosaic began in the artist's studio, where they hand-cut the glass pieces from large sheets of stained glass. After sketching the design on the surface of the wall, they selected each cut glass piece based on shape and color in order to build the patterns and establish color relationships. Using mortar, they affixed the glass to the wall in small sections so that over time the space was gradually filled in. One of the people from the foundation we're looking at, was looking at this morning and he said, you know, it, it, it almost looks 3D and I said that's because you've got all the different colors and you can use the complementary colors to make that kind of effect. You can't always do that when you're using colors that are very similar. You wind up just focusing on the patterns that are included. Well, I'm an advanced ceramic student. I've been taking ceramics since I started here and that's uh, my main medium of choice. I hope to transfer to Temple so, and study uh, glass there. So the combination of the two is really cool and I also have a lot of on my leftover ceramics I have about four or five boxes piled up that I want to break down and use for mosaics. I figured it'd be a good experience. I learned a lot so far. Spacing is really important, and I also learned a lot about um, employing color throughout the design and having it uh, free flow throughout the entire thing to connect it from one side to the other. Once everything was set and dried, the artist applied another layer of mortar to fill in the gaps between the pieces, and then began the laborious process of polishing the glass to remove excess mortar and bring out the shine. When finished, the entire mural was covered with a clear polymer coating. We always love the comments that people make when we're working, whether they're good, whether they're bad, whether they're indifferent. We just love to hear the comments. It, you know, it, it amuses us while we're working, but with the bus driver. Yeah, the bus driver was uh, they just kept on coming by uh, like several I guess times he's the a shuttle? day. I don't know. Uh, but he's just a New Jersey Transit bus driver. Oh, okay. And um, he gets out and comes out and says, "I've just been watching the progress." He said that is really amazing, you know. And uh, uh, he, he told us, he said, "You should see it." when the sun starts to set. Yeah. He said the whole thing changes, all the colors change because it's reflecting the sunlight. But here, here, I mean, we've had nothing but positive comments. People yeah. just just love it. And I just said to John, um, people have been asking me since we you know, finished the work on it, since we're almost finished with it, you know, what do you think about it? Isn't it great? Isn't it wonderful? Don't you think? It? And you know, it's like with any artist, you have to step away from your work for a while before you can really evaluate it. I mean, you know you're doing the best you can. You know you're doing a good job, but you still have to step away. And just this weekend, I was um, showing somebody pictures of it, and I said, oh, you know, it really is spectacular, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so we're very happy with it, too. The mural now serves as a welcome mat to RVCC, signifying the creativity and excitement of the educational experience. We hope it will inspire students, faculty and staff, and the public to think and act with imagination. <laughs>